Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lacey and I'm going to show you how to make the pot for the flower coasters. I'll be making a pot that measures about four inches across at the bottom of the pot and increases to about five inches across at the top of the pot. You will need DK yarn in any color you'd like, a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, a stitch marker, scissors, and a yarn needle. You'll start off by making a magic circle. Then you will make six single crochets inside of the magic circle. Make sure to relax and loosen up a bit on the tension so you can fit your crochet hook inside of your loops for the next round. Pull the starting end of your yarn to close the circle. For round two, you will increase into all six stitches. So that means you will have two single crochets in each stitch. You should have 12 stitches in round two. We'll be using a stitch marker from this point forward. For round three, you will do a repetitive pattern of single crocheting into the first stitch and making an increase into the next stitch. I like to attach my stitch marker to the first stitch after single crocheting a few times just to get out of my own way. So again, you will single crochet into the next stitch and increase into the next stitch. Repeat this pattern until you reach the end of your round. You should have 18 stitches in round three. For round four, you will single crochet two times and make an increase in the next stitch. Remember to use your stitch marker. So again, you'll single crochet once in one stitch, once in the next stitch, and then you'll increase in the next stitch. And just like before, you will repeat this pattern until you reach the end of your round. You should have 24 stitches in round four. For round five, you will single crochet three times and make an increase in the next stitch. So 
So again, you'll make a single crochet three times and then increase into the next stitch. Just like before, you will repeat this pattern until you reach the end of your round. You should have 30 stitches in round 5. For round 6, you will single crochet 4 times and make an increase in the next stitch. Remember to use your stitch marker. And just like before, you'll repeat this pattern until you reach the end of your round. You should have 36 stitches in round 6. You will make 4 more rounds continuing this circle pattern. And when you're finished, you will have 10 rounds. In round 7, you will do a pattern of 5 single crochets and an increase in the following stitch. In round 8, you will do a pattern of 6 single crochets and an increase in the following stitch. You will have 48 stitches in that round. In round 9, you will do a pattern of 7 single crochets and an increase in the following stitch, and you'll have a total of 54 stitches in that round. And finally, in round 10, you will do a pattern of 8 single crochets and an increase in the following stitch. You will have 60 stitches in that round. I'll meet you back here once you finish round 10 with a total of 60 stitches in the round. Now we're going to move on into making the sides of the pot. We'll start creating the sides by single crocheting into the back loop only of the stitches in round 10. This will be your first round of the sides of your pot. And this is the only round where you'll be crocheting into the back loops only. Remember to use your stitch marker. Next, you're going to single crochet for two rounds. Make sure to use your stitch marker in each round. And when you're finished, you should still only have 60 stitches in your round. So far, you should have three rounds total for the sides of your pot. And now we're going to start increasing to make the pot a bit wider. You're going to single crochet 19 times and then make an increase in the next stitch. You will repeat this pattern until you reach the end of your round. This pattern will occur three times in your round. Note that the last stitch in this round should be an increase, and then you'll know that you finished the round correctly.
you should have 63 stitches in round four. In round five, you're going to single crochet for one round. You won't be increasing in this round, which means that you should still have 63 stitches when you're finished. Round six is an increase round, just like round four. You're going to single crochet 20 times and then make an increase in the next stitch. You will repeat this pattern until you reach the end of your round. This pattern will occur three times in your round. You should have 66 stitches in round six. Next, you will single crochet for two rounds. You won't be increasing in these rounds, which means that you will still have 66 stitches when you're finished. Right now, you should have eight rounds total for the sides of your pot. Next, you will make the lip of your pot. To start, you will make a slip stitch and chain one. You will single crochet into the same stitch you slip stitched into, and then you will single crochet into the front loops only for each stitch in this round. Next, you will single crochet for two rounds to finish the loop of your pot. Skip over the slip stitch and the chain one you made previously and move into the following stitch. You will single crochet for two rounds. When you're finished, you should still only have 66 stitches in your round, and a total of three rounds for the lip of your pot. Now, you'll slip stitch and tie off your yarn. If you prefer to weave in your ends, you'll chain one before cutting off your yarn to make a knot. I like to split my yarn and tie a knot elsewhere, but please do what you prefer. I do the same thing to the starting yarn. Your pot is complete. You can insert your two flower coasters or use the pot for something else, like jewelry or other small items. Thank you for watching and following along. Be sure to like and subscribe for future videos. You can follow my Instagram, TikTok, and Depop at LaceyMadeIt.